Hey everybody, welcome into this new video. In today's tutorial, let's see how we can sign up totally for free here into the freelancer.com website, the platform. And let's try to hire freelancers here so we can find, or you want to find freelance job online, you can totally do that as well. So in this tutorial, let's dig into that. So let's begin. So the first thing I want to do, guys, I'm going to leave you a link down below in the description so you can go and sign up your account totally for free. And after you choose the link down below, you're going to see something like this. Continue with Facebook or you can choose an email and a passcode. In my case, I'm going to provide an email and I'm going to create a passcode real quick. Now it's going to be asking us for choosing a username. Please note that username cannot be changed once chosen. I strongly suggest you guys that if you're willing to look for a job or you want to hire someone, then you can um, create something that's close to your brand. So for example, I'm going to choose White Star. And since this one is not available for a username, what I can do is to choose LTD. And now it says select your account type. Now, if you're willing to hire someone, I'm going to choose I want to hire. I'm going to show you how you can um, submit here your resume here in order to start to work as a freelancer. But first, we want to look for the hire option and it's going to be redirecting us into the tools that we can use for hiring people uh, into our brand. So it says, welcome to the worst, let's just freelance and marketing place, turn your dreams into reality. I want to get started. Now it's going to be asking us if we want to post a job, we want to browse some freelancers profiles, or we want to explore the showcase. So we can do this three things. So if I choose the explore showcase, I want to open this link into a new tab. So what I'm going to see here is all the works uh, that they've been creating the freelancers so far so if i love the work of someone i can contact them and see if they can if they're willing to work with me so for example if i'm looking uh for someone that can help me to build some t-shirt design i'm gonna go and find inspiration from other projects. i'm gonna go into t-shirt and as you can see here are some illustrations so for example i'm gonna choose this one all right so this one has like 53 reviews i can choose to check it out the user um, so this one is a graphic designer, NFT art, and illustrator. It has a batch of verified as a freelancer staff, and it has a batch of a preferred freelancer. So they've contacted them a lot. Uh, the job is really completed uh, all on time, on budget, and repeat higher rate is 39%. So if you are willing to contact, you want to hire this one, and if you're okay with that, you can go and select your project. Uh, let's say, for example, um, project one and send a private message. Now in here, so here you have a template. I noticed your profile and would like to offer you my project. We can discuss any details of the chat. And if you want to hire that for an hourly rate, you can choose your rate or fixed price, depending on what kind of project you want to uh, make the trade for. Now, if you scroll a little bit down, you can see the portfolio items of this this here and there are a few certifications and stop scales top scales that we can check it out and of course here are the views of everyone that has hired this one before right and the experience is right in here now what i want to do is to scroll down and look for the second option now the second option is to browse freelancers profiles so instead of choosing a, a specific creative design let's try to look only for uh, not going to the showcase page. You want to close this. I'm going to go into the Bros Freelancer page so we can go and look for top results of freelancers. And here into the filters, let's say that I want to pay up to $5. I, I need someone who can get some scales of a logo design. So this is going to be filtering me exactly guys the filter that i need to hire so if i need to hire someone like right away i need to choose this option it says online so i know that these guys will be uh contact right away when i send the message so for example here we have this uh jasmine uh, we have md there are a lot of options that we can choose so let's say that i want to work with this guy who's in the top results so i choose this guy i once again want to check it out all the description, all the equipments, uh, the service that this guy provides, portfolio, of course, obviously the portfolio. 
the reviews, the experience, education, qualifications, and if you want to choose certifications, as you can see, this one is preferred freelancer program. So if you are already convinced, you can once again, select your project name, send a private message, select your budget and select the hire or invite to the project. And the third option is to choose the post a job section. Like you go specifically into the freelancer account to tell what you need to be done. But just before you dig into this project, you want to go into your account, go into the freelancer.com once again. Now in here, you're going to locate your account. You want to go into settings and in here, you want to fill your profile details as much as you can. So this will be helping you to make yourself a little bit more professional, to look more professional into the freelancer.com uh, platform. And after you fill all that information, after you um, select here your profile and upload a great profile picture and the client profile, now that as you can see, this is how we're going to be looking when someone wants to see who's going to be hiring them. So it's really important guys to try to have this as much as professional as you can. So once you dig into that, you can go into post a job. So the website is going to be asking me, choose a name for your project. So we have to tell them what we need done. So let's say for example, I need someone to build me website, right? So in here, tell us more about your project. You want to specify what kind of website this is, um, website for my brand and here drag and drop any images or documents that might be helpful and explaining your brief um, here. So I can upload, for example, uh, I'm just going to be using this tool. As you can see, it says we detected the following scales to suit your project. So we can make like a contest. This is like a crowd source. So we can post a price. Like if someone makes like the best deal, the best website, I'm going to give you $200, right? So everyone can enter and you can get them feedback, right? This is like great for visual designers, but I want to choose a past a project because I want to see all the candidates that apply to this job. So I'm going to choose this option. How do you want to pay? Now, whether you want to pay by the hour, you want to pay like a fixed price. In my case, I am dealing with a website. So since this project um, actually involves to draft, I mean, there will be lots of days where I'm going to be doing some try and fall and try and fall and try and fall. So this is not like you just make the website and it's completely done. I mean, I need someone to make the website. I need someone to making some draft to add creative ideas to keep constantly moving uh, while we are working. So since I know that my website does not require like too much, I can stick around with the moderate or the basic one. These are the details correct. So as you can see, here's the project. Here's my name. Here's my budget. And now it was really, really easy guys to post in here a project. Now anyone can start bidding on our project and you can see if this one is the right uh, candidate for our job. Now, as you can see, we have already one proposal. So as you can see, they have, hope you're doing well. I already read your project description. I am ready to start work right now. 30 seconds to go and now we have 12 bits, right? So everyone is willing to work into your project, but this is the very exciting part. Like, how do you know who to hire, right? So you can filter them by course, must have verified freelancer, have a preferred freelancer, have a really great overall waiting for projects. Now, as you can see, it can be really annoying at this moment because for example now i have messages hey i'm interested into your project please send me a message so we can discuss more so there you have it guys actually it's it's not that hard to look for someone to hire here into a freelancer just be really sure that you are totally convinced try to talk to them as much as you can into the messages if, if you can make like a video call a video chat before you contract this guy or the girl it's much more better and secure so there you have it guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more about this freelancer application. And once again, I'm going to leave you a link down below in the description so you can sign up totally for free here into freelancer. Once again, thank you so much and I'll see you next one.